Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at a product called the Ruby Space Triangles. It's an as seen on TV product that supposedly allows you to organize your closet and save a ton of space. But does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. First up, let's flash back to the unboxing overview and see how that went. All right, here we go. This is my 18 pack of the Ruby Space Triangles. Let me uh, pull one of these out of here. All right, so here's the design. It looks kind of familiar to me. A couple years ago, I reviewed this from AliExpress, which kind of does the same thing. This one holds it on either side. The Ruby Space Triangles only holds it on one side. Uh, kind of the same idea, but they say it will provide up to 70% more space in your closet. They say you can hang hanger after hanger on here, and the lower you go, the more space you'll save. They say it fits most hangers, great even for accessories. They have these shirts that are widely spaced out in the before picture and smashed together in the after. We'll have to see if that's actually accurate or not. Same here. Look how spaced out these shirts are and how smashed they are together here. A little bit different, but we'll see how much space saving there really is. Up here it says three times more space. Here it says 70% more space, so I don't, I don't really know. But I paid about 15 bucks from this direct from the Bulbhead website, although I've seen it in stores as low as $10, but I got the 18 pack. The stores, I think, sell a 12 pack, so 10 to 15 bucks for 12 to 18 of them. All right, so now to my closet test here. What I did was I pulled out some regular hangers, some space saving hangers, and I even pulled out the old Wonder Hanger Max. And I tried a bunch of different configurations. I tried these with two shirts, with five shirts. I measured them at the top, I measured them at the bottom. Don't worry too much about the numbers. I'm gonna show you a big recap when it's all done. So let's flash back to my closet test and see how that went. Let's try out the Ruby hangers here. I got a couple different types of hangers. I got these, these velvet, supposedly sa space saving hangers over here. I got 18 of them. I got some regular hangers from the dollar store, just uh, this style right here. And I've got the Wonder Hanger Max. This can hold 15, but you can double them up so I can go 5, 10, 15, and then one on each. So I can do 18 here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up these hangers with 18 shirts. I'm gonna see how wide it is. Pull out the ruby triangles and see how wide it is with those. I'll do one on each and then I'll do five on each. All right, here we go. 18 shirts, kind of moderately spaced out. Let's measure this. All right, so these shirts are approximately about 12 inches, about 12 inches wide in this configuration. Let's smash them together and see how, how compact we can make them just like this. Oh yeah. And now in a smash configuration, this is about nine inches, about nine inches. Let's now try adding a ruby triangle to each one and see what kind of space we come up with. All right, so take one shirt here. Just kind of place the ruby triangle over it like that. And then we can add the next hanger down here like this. So there we go. Now we got two shirts. Now will that save space? I say it may, it may not, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna do this with all 18, so we'll have nine sets. I'm getting faster as I go here, speeding things up. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's measure these out now. So we've got kind of got a nine times two configuration here. Nine shirts attached to the pole and then nine more shirts attached to those with the ruby triangles. This is not smashed together, let's measure this. And once again, it's about, 12 inches, maybe 11, maybe, maybe we gain an inch. Let me smash them together and see what happens. So up here, it looks like we've got space save at seven, seven inches. Let's go lower. Let me go down to the middle part here. Um, hey, I think we did save a little bit of space. Let me do five per hanger and see how that goes. So I'll just put one here. Whoa. Now here's what it looks like. We got one, two, three, four, five shirts. Wow. Five, 10, 15, and only three on this one. So we got 18 total. So there's three there, five here, five here, and five there. Let's measure this out now. Up here, it's a minuscule four inches. Down here in the thicker part, lower in the closet, it's still, it's still narrower than the original uh, 11 to 12 inches. So I, say you want to get this shirt right here. So how we do that now? I guess I can just take it off the hanger or you can take this hanger off and then just re-loop that one. That's not too bad. I think I like the idea of taking the hanger completely off. And that way when you add, want to add your hanger later, you can just come in here and just stick the ruby triangle on there and then you're done. So let's uh, move on and see what else we can come up with. All right, now I've got these space saver hangers in here and just kind of a non-smash configuration. Let's measure it out. Oh, about 10, 11 inches. Now let's smash them. Well, that does look kind of thin. And space saver, it's about seven inches. Seven and a half inches? 
Not bad, really. Let's load these up with the ruby triangles and see if we get any more space. All right, what's weird is it actually looks wider now with the ruby triangles in there because the space savers are actually taking up more space. Let's measure this one out. I don't think we really gained much space. This is about seven inches. In this configuration, I don't think we gained anything. These space saving hangers seem like they're wider apart now with the ruby triangles as opposed to without them. Let's do the five, five and three and see if that gives us any space now. Five, 10, 15, 18 configuration, just not even pushed together. It's only about eight inches. Let's push it together though. On the top here, it's only four inches, but let's go down further. The very widest part, we may have actually lost ground. I'm not sure why, but down at the bottom, it's not a lot of space saving, but at the top, at the top it is, it just, it tapers. It gets, goes from thin to much thicker. So there's some, some space savings in some configurations, but not all. Ironically, it seems like the space saving hangers are more problematic than the regular ones. Just out of curiosity, let me try the Wonder Hanger Max. I'm going to try 18 shirts on here and see what kind of space savings we get. Let's check it out. I got this one backwards. I got this one backwards. Let me move it around. So for these, you're supposed to be able to lift it up and lower them like this. So let's see what we got as far as space savings goes for that. Up here, it collapses down really small, but it does paper out again. At the very top, you only take up a couple of inches. But let's move down to the bottom here. It definitely widens out down here. Now down here, we're up to 12 inches. It, I, it, it's not as good as the ruby triangles, for whatever reason. The way this one works, it just seems like it bunches them all up. The ruby triangle seems like it collapses them down more. I'd say the ruby triangle saves more space than the Wonder Hanger Max. All right, let's take a look at these numbers here now. If you look at the top at the, in the yellow, the regular hangers varied from nine to 12 inches, depending if I smashed them together or not. In the middle of the yellow, the space savers, same thing. If I was smashed or not, it was seven and a half to 10 and a half inches. And in the white, let's look at the top here, the regular hangers plus one ruby and the regular plus five rubies. Now, when you look at the first number, which is when I measured toward the top of the ruby hangers, the seven and the four, those look like maybe it did save some space, but when you go down to the bottom, which is tapered out, you didn't save anything over the original nine inches if you just pushed them all together. Also with the space saving hangers, when you add the rubies to it, the smallest part, which is four, might be impressive, but when you go out to the bottom, which is tapered outward, you've actually lost space. In the best case scenario for this one, you may have saved a half an inch. Once again, the Wonder Hanger Max, it's all over the place, two to 12 inches. I don't really think it saved much space at all. So what this tells me is when you first look at it, you might think, wow, that saves space. But you pull out a ruler and go to the bottom part where it's thicker, you don't really save much. They say you can only do five shirts at a time, but let's try that out and see if that's actually the case or not. Let's try 10. <laughs> 10 works. It's not breaking. Can we try 15? Let's try it out. I might need to stand on something to do this one. All right, let's see what we got here. Can we do 15? <laughs> we can. For those of you who have a 15 foot tall closet, this would be perfect. Look at this. I was wondering if you just hook the hangers around each other without even using anything, if you could do that. So I tried it and it looks like it just kind of slips around. So maybe some hangers it will, but this kind of hangers, it won't. So in the end, I'm not real convinced about the Ruby space triangles. It seems like the space saving is a bit of a parlor trick or optical illusion. Cause when you smash a bunch of hangers together without any space savers in there, they're gonna line up kind of parallel on each side. But when you use these space savers, because they're stacked, it kind of lines up like this. You have a tapered effect. So you do seem like you save space at the top. When you get to the bottom, Looks like the measurements to me were all about the same. Maybe you save a little bit of space, but not a lot. I'm not sure enough to justify something like this. That's not to say these are without merit though. I do think that something like this could actually be pretty good for organizing your closet, for having different outfits together, for having certain types of shirts, maybe all your white t-shirts or all your workout clothes. So I do think there's some possible uses for them. I'm just not sure that saving space is one of them. When you look at their packaging, you wonder if they smashed all these shirts together, if they would be that wide as well. I kind of think they would, at least based on my test. But that's all I've got. If you've tried the Ruby Space Triangles, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.